Uh, my name is Enric Sifa. I'm from Rwanda. Uh, in 1994, when I was six years old, uh, there was genocide in Rwanda and about a million people were killed. The killers, they came in our neighborhood and uh, they started burning homes when people are sleeping overnight and, and all of a sudden the next day they came to, to my house and they killed my older brother and, and then my dad was also killed. Uh, so a lot of people in my neighborhood, including my extended family, a lot of them were killed uh, in the same day. And me and my young brother, who was uh, about three years old then, we just ran away and uh, we went to hide into the jungle. After the genocide, uh, um, because my mother was a widow, uh, there was a man in our neighborhood uh, who wanted to um, live in our house. He was angry and then he got her killed. Uh, at only seven years old, I became a street kid. The life on the street, uh, as you can imagine, it was so um, terrible and uh, uh, scary because I was so young, you know, and uh, I was really afraid. On the streets, I didn't have a community uh, because on the street, you know, everyone was really trying to survive. So it was scary to be alone for that long. I didn't have anything except my mother's songs because uh, she was a singer. So at night, uh, I would sing those songs and they would help me sleep. Uh, for the next five years, uh, I lived on the street. Um, I got beat up and I, I was scared and I went uh, for days without eating and I got sick uh, for a while and I didn't have any medicine. But after that, my life changed. I used to sneak into night clubs because I loved music. I really wanted to be around it. But one night after they kicked me out, I was on the street uh, crying and I felt like I heard a voice telling me that everything's gonna be all right. And the next two day, I heard music playing and I wanted to go check it out. And then I re realized that it's a church, that these Christians were playing music. I went in and uh, they didn't kick me out and they loved, I loved the free music because they didn't have to pay to go in, so I stayed. And I kept going to church uh, because of music and they accepted me and it was safe. Uh, for the first time in my life, I felt loved and uh, I felt hope and I felt like I belong somewhere. Uh, even though I was uh, an orphan and lived on the street, um, God used a lot of people to uh, help me out and um, give me purpose. And uh, up to now, I still believe that God has more purpose for my life. When I turned about 14, I accepted Christ. And the same year, that's when I met African Life. In 2002, uh, when African New Life was just getting started, uh, a team uh, came in, in Rwanda, and one of them uh, noticed me, and she felt like God was telling her to help me. Uh, they sponsored me, and I was able to go to school, and I felt like God was giving me a second chance. Sponsorship uh, really uh, made me dream and grow and find uh, God's purpose for my life. Well, I was given a guitar and uh, started playing and writing my music and uh, uh, started leading worship back in my home country and, and all of a sudden I started getting uh, songs on the radios and I got an opportunity to do a concert for the president of my country. Now I'm still playing and going to college. My story is not about a street kid who made it big. It's about God who pursued me and uh, gave me grace and, and what God can do 
when we give our lives to Him. Don't fly away. Oh, don't fly.